Hello everybody and happy Tuesday? I think it is. I think it's Tuesday. Anyway, uh, welcome to today's 5M uh, resource install tutorial video thing. Today we are checking out the area of play slash patrol type like text thing that a lot of people have been requesting I do. Um, so thank you everybody requesting I'm doing it. If you have a resource you want me to figure out on how to install and do a video on it, please leave it down in the comments below and I'll be happy to take a look at it and see if I can make it into a video for the future. Um, so pretty much what this does, it allows you to run a command slash area of play and then the area and then it puts it like um, right here into the corner so it says area of play has been changed to there uh, please finish your current RP and move to there so a lot of servers use this and you can see the area of play also displays down here in the left hand corner um, so a lot of servers use stuff like this to go ahead and like tell people where to play on the server where all the cops and role play is happening so it's a very very useful um, resource and hopefully it comes in handy so pretty much it's a pretty easy install as well. You're going to go ahead and go to this page and you're going to go click, click the download button which will download a zip file, open it with WinZip, WinRAR, Win7zip, whatever you open up your files with. You'll go ahead and open it up and you can see area of play in here and there's stuff inside of here. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to take your area of play folder and you're going to go into your server doc data folder or whatever you name your server data folder inside the resources folder and just drag in the area of play. We do this for pretty much every resource so hopefully you have a good idea on how to get to these folders if you don't already have your 5m server created please go ahead and watch our how to create a 5m server video it does go along with 5pd but if you don't want 5pd just ignore that section of the video and just go with the 5m install um so we've dragged an area of play here we're going to go back to our server data open up our server.cfg file and edit it with our notepad plus plus or notepad and we're just going to add ensure area of play in here go ahead and save and close just make sure it matches the name there and we can close it out then we can go ahead and start our 5m server and we're going to make sure it is loaded up successfully by reading inside of here and i'll tell you exactly what you should look for when starting a resource this could take a minute i have so many resources on the server now it is like overwhelmed in resources so i do apologize if it takes a moment to start up um but overall it is a simple install it's just pretty much drag and drop and you can see right there started resource area of play ignore if it's red or anything um that is just caused by one of the other resources um so just ignore that but it says started resource area of play we are good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and hop in game and show you how it works all right so we have loaded in the game here and you can see over on the bottom left hand corner in a little bit of gray text it's a little hard to see but you can see area of play area of play is now san andreas so we have successfully installed the resource now you may be wondering how in the world do i change this where you're going to open up your chat box with t and type area of play um and make sure you spell it right and don't be an idiot like i am and then just type a location so i'm going to type obviously incorrect syntax give me a moment all right clearly i'm an idiot sometimes uh you would type area of play and then like uh los santos or whatever you want to type and it will go ahead and change it i spelled santos wrong just ignore me i can't type today um but you can see it has changed so pretty much as long as the area of play is two words so airport drive or whatever it will go ahead and change it to the correct location wherever you want it to be which is quite cool i do apologize for my bad spelling and not ability to really type today um this is my fifth video of the day so clearly i'm getting tired um but overall i do recommend checking it out if this is something that you're interested in on your server it works along with a bunch of other resources because it's just an easy pretty much drag and drop install resource there shouldn't be any compatibility issues if you have issues with it just go ahead and contact the author about it they'll probably be willing to help out quite easily um but overall thank you so much for watching and um hopefully you do enjoy your day a little info on next week's videos will be or this week's videos hopefully we'll be going over the v menu permissions at some point this week we'll also be going over how to install um Oh, a few graphics packs and sound packs for 5m and stuff so a lot of info on all that is coming very soon so thank you for hanging around with us throughout all this week it's been a little bit crazy this month with school restarting and obviously the views have been down and stuff but thank you all for everybody who is giving support right now it's very much appreciated um we'll be back tomorrow with another video not exactly sure what was it or what will it be yet but if you um, are interested make sure to subscribe for more videos coming soon thank you so much for watching everybody my name is noodles have a great day great night and i'll see you tomorrow